problems, you know. He's been having a tough time. Hey, Bigfoot. Hey, good to see you, pal. What is he wearing? He looks good. Very stylish. Very stylish today. He's wearing pink pants, like pajamas with a leather jacket. Are those pajamas? No, those not in German. What? It's a suit. That's a suit? Yeah. Where'd not, you find it? Does not a jamas? No. Oh, that looks like pajamas to I me. I thought they were pajamas when he was. Now you did something different to you, it is. It looks like you cut your hair, Howard. No, 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 no. Same length. Oh. Now, yeah. you look like you grew your hair longer. Yeah, I, I have. Yeah. I think it looks like he has done nothing with his hair. No, his hair actually looks... He's got sort of a look going. You yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With the beard and everything? Wasn't that the same look he always had? <laughs> no, his hair's longer and his beard's longer. You do look more handsome. I'm going to give you that. Oh, that's good. You look yeah. happy, actually. Is they, I am they happy at good. this. I'm good. happy to be here and seeing how it works. How'd you, right. get, you look like Brad Pitt, honestly. I mean, you know, he's gone for this long beard, gray that beard look. That is the, yeah. the Brad Pitt beard. That is the Brad Brad Pitt beard, you're, you're in style. <laughs> yeah. Where do you get the money for a, a, a fancy suit like this? It's all peach and stripes. Well, that and girl right? bought it for me. That Shannon girl did. Who's Shannon? The one that is. Uh, I, I invited down here is to see you. Oh, her. Yeah, oh. she bought it for me. Very do nice. Do you know who he's talking about? No. He had a girl with him last time he was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just go along with the program. Yeah. Oh, so she paid for that. That must have been expensive. Well, yeah, that... it was only like 50 bucks. Uh, that suit's 50 bucks? I have yeah. it, Howard, Where just, do you buy your suit? From looking at it, it looks like it come from a thrift shop. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It didn't. It come from a regular suit place where he makes suits. Yeah. Right off the rack for 50 yeah. bucks? Yeah. So you and like... he even tailored it. And they bet me and everything. So you had a choice of many different suits, and that's the one you chose. Kenny Sawyer picked out this suit for me. Because I got to tell you something. It's not a practical suit. I don't know suit. that pink is your color. Yeah, I mean, if you... Or <laughs> it's salmon. It's kind of an orangish color. It's a yeah, salmon. Yeah. It's a salmon. Maybe. But you want to know something? It well, would have been more practical if you got a plain black suit, because you could wear it everywhere. That suit, you wear it once... And Everybody's like, seen it. Everyone's seen it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're going to remember right. that. Yeah, yeah, You've that. not seen it. I know. That's true. But that's that, what he was thinking when he bought it. I see. <laughs> <laughs> but why I are you wearing... I was dressing up for you, Howard. And is that an ascot you have on? No. 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 Is it like a, there's like a... Sh- okay. It's there's a shirt, a vest, and a shirt. Yeah. Does it, does oh, no, no. I got it. I got it. Howard, this outside thing? Yeah. That's the, the, that's the jacket. Well, you took right. that. What jacket? I thought no, I was this piece right here, I thought this was a shirt. That's a suit jacket. Right, so it's a suit jacket. But so what's the thing underneath? A vest and then the shirt. Oh, I see. It's like a three-piece suit. <laughs> and know. why are you wearing a leather coat on top of it all? Well, just in case it, it rains. Oh. <laughs> I see. All you right. don't want to mess it up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, by the way, just before we... You know why you're here today, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm being a judge for a new whack packer. Yeah, we want to find a new whack packer. You know, we found you right? for this very contest. Right. It was, I don't know how long ago. How many years ago did we find you? Do you remember? I about maybe three years ago. Three years or so. Yeah. yeah. And when we found you, it was such a great day. Remember, and you won, and it yeah, was exciting, and you got like five grand. It was yeah, a, I know. Yeah, yeah. You were immediately welcomed into the whack pack. Yeah, I know I was. Bigfoot, as a whack packer, and probably your vote's the most important. What makes a great whack packer? What are you looking for? I'm looking at them and see how funny they are. Right. To see if they're entertaining. Funny is good. Yeah. To see right. if he's entertaining somebody like me at this. Right. Okay. You're not part of the place me are. No. no. Who could ever I'm, replace you? I'm trying to uh, add to your numbers. Oh. You know, so I think it'll be great, and I think you should have a say in picking that person because you are the reigning whack pack leader. Yeah, all right. All right. Now, uh, also, I do, I, I mean, I don't mean to bring up uh, hardships, but you just got, you came to New York, and immediately you got in trouble with the law. You got a $125 ticket. Right, and I was wearing my seatbelt. And you, it was for not I wearing it. Were, I weren't wearing it properly. I didn't have the shoulder holster up by my shoulder. I didn't. Oh, well, the police came over and looked in the car and said, you don't have the shoulder harness on properly? Well, yeah. Gee, that's... Well, that's, why weren't you wearing it right? Because I thought uh, we wouldn't be bothered. I told the other guy, <laughs> I'll put his seatbelt on, and he wouldn't listen to me. It is, and he automatically got a ticket, and he gave me a ticket for wearing a seatbelt. What? And you weren't even driving. And you no, got a I weren't even driving. <laughs> Seriously. But how do you this draw... This only happen to how you. How do you draw such trouble, honestly? I mean, like, like the cops know. never look in my car for seatbelts. I mean, I do, don't know. Do they pull you over? Yeah. Can I, can I ask is you a the question? car a weird car? What is it? It's, it's like the Munster's car. car? It's a black car? Yeah. But is it an old car? 
Yeah, it's an older car. Yeah. Like, does it look like maybe like a migrant farm worker is in the car? No, no, no. Is no. it the same color all the way around? Or yes, is it, it oh, is. Yeah, okay. I don't know. Uh, uh, the, the, the Mont Placey bigger, we looking for trouble, and, and we're not. Does your head stick out of the car? <laughs> well, it's kind of. Uh, I have to push the seat way back. It is, and the declining motion is just for me to fit into it. Yeah, but I, I just can't imagine why the cops somehow are drawn to your car. It's He's weird. always being. I stopped. know because it has the Mont. Plates. Do you think you're cursed like you attract trouble? Do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I do believe that, yes. Yes. Because, I mean, I've never seen a guy. I mean, it, it, Gary, it, when's it, the last time? It's like in Newport. I was sitting out there and I got maced in my eyes it's just because I wouldn't give somebody a cigarette. All right. What happened? I got maced in my eyes it is Who because maced I you? wouldn't give some teenager a cigarette. A teenager uh, asked you for a cigarette. You? Right. And he and you said, no, I'm, I don't have a cigarette for you. Right. And he took out a can of mace and sprayed you. Right, exactly. Are you like, was a regular citizen. Are you like Frankenstein's monster? Like, do you walk through your town and people just throw garbage at you? Yeah, and, basically, yeah. yeah. It's Aww. like being Frankenstein's monster. Would you say you're, no, you're known in your town? Everybody knows you? Yeah, everybody knows me wherever I go. That's true. Yeah. It don't matter if I go to New York. It don't matter if I go to the Bronx. It don't matter if I go to Maine. And you get in trouble. Everybody knows me. And you get in trouble, and people mace you. I mean, to be maced is a terribly painful thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It hurt in my eyeballs. Yeah. You I, know what? I'm ready to vote. He's the next whack <laughs> No, Robin, you can't I'm vote. already the whack packer. <laughs> hey, How can I be the whack packer of white? Hey, by the way, you did something so terrific. What did I do? Remember you, uh, Little Lupe called you and you had phone oh, sex? Oh, yeah. Yes. I remember that. And I made her sick. I That's did. That's right. Did you ever oh, hear I'm it? I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to make you sick. I was faking the whole thing, you know. <laughs> Bigfoot, oh, did you okay. ever hear the tape of you uh, making love to Little Lupe? Have you ever heard it? I don't think so. I'll play it for you right now if you'd like. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, hey, d Guys, do you have that so I can play it for Bigfoot? I don't think he's ever heard the playback. Well, I thought it, you should hear your own performance. I thought it was tremendously sexy. Yeah. And you swear you were just acting. Yeah, I was just acting. All right. Do you ever, d did you ever have phone sex before this? I've had phone sex with plenty of girls before. Yeah. With Melanie and this girl. Like and that girl. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I've had more girls than I, I can count on one, both hands. <laughs> I have to start with my toes and everything, too. Yeah, Bigfoot. Hola, baby. ¿Cómo estás? Do what? Hi, baby. How are you? Who the hell is this? I am Lupe Fuentes. Let me turn my TV down. I can barely hear you. Okay. Oh. What the fuck is this, you know? Do what? You have a big penis? Peanut? I love peanuts. No, I don't have no peanuts. Peanuts is my favorite. Huh? What? Huh? You like big boobs? Yeah, I like big boobs. You have a big penis? Yeah, I got a big penis. Wow. Well, you like big penises? Woo! -hoo! I love cock. You like the head? Yeah, you want I show you? Show me what? You want to show me your pussy? Yes. That's nice of you. I love pussy. You do? You don't even know what it look like. I love peanuts. Oh, you like big cock? You have a big penis? Yeah, nine and a half inches. Woo! I love cock. <laughs> Good what? Oh, I have so many orgasms. Somebody in the bathroom? Yes. Well, you gotta go to the bathroom, you do? Yes. Oh. Oh, this guy is dirty. <laughs> yeah, you want me to come and take a shit on you? Yes. Yeah? You like being shit on? Yes. I love anal. You like anal? Well, I'll fuck your ass, I will. <laughs> well, you want me to take my cock off, uh, out and jack off? Yes. Yeah, you want me to jack off? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Uh. Yeah. I'm going to fuck you like a wild animal with this. Oh. <laughs> I'll fuck you in the ass. I'll fuck you in the pussy. Uh -huh. Yeah, I'll lick your vagina. Mm. You like being wet? Yes. You know, I'm gonna lick your cunt. Ooh. I even lick your asshole. I will. Uh huh. Oh God. Uh, you finger in your pussy. Mm. Thinking about me? Yes. You using your middle finger? Yes. 
Some, uh, some yeah. hot session, huh? Yeah, it was. I like how you talk to these girls. Pussy, cunt, you, 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 and I'm going to lick your asshole. Can I ask a question? And look how hot you got her, you know what I mean? Have you ever actually shit on anybody? No. Okay, oh. just checking. But, I wondered why that came out of right. you. I mean, <laughs> that was very uh, I was just using whatever I could in there to <laughs> make her happy. Right. Okay. Well, you made her happy. You could hear she came very hard. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, uh, Bigfoot, I'm worried about something here, and, you know, tell me the truth. Is there now, could this actually be your last appearance on the show, that there's an effort now to get you um, into courtroom so that the state can institutionalize you and throw yeah, you away? Yeah, I talked with, um, what, what was it, uh, Kurt Palmer there is. Who's that? He's one of my head caseworkers, is, and he's not going to try to get me in the hospital. They want, that's another hospitalized plan, me, me walking the streets, is, and they have a hold of me to make sure I take my medication. All right, I, believe it or not, I must be stupid. I didn't understand a thing you said. So let me let me back up. All right. All right. You're saying, Bigfoot, that are you homeless now? No. No, you have a home. Right. But someone is, do you want to be hospitalized? No, no, I don't. you do not. Someone is trying in the state to get you hospitalized. Yes. Why do they feel you, Bigfoot, needs to be in the hospital? Because of my gastritis problem, where my gas comes out of me and I, I hiccup at one moment, I sneeze the next moment, a lot, a lot of barfing noise coming out of me and stuff like that. I don't hear you doing any of that. Yeah, yeah, I know. For some reason, every time I come here, it instantly stops for some reason. <laughs> yeah. You should have heard me yesterday. I was barfing up a storm. At it. Yeah, so is this, this this place they want to put you, is it a mental institution? Yes, it's a mental institution. I'm not even safe down there. It's where I got assaulted three times. They probably say I weren't taking my medication when I was taking my medication. I walked out in the yard and called me Grizzly Adams. Remember what Grizzly Adams look, used to look like? Yes. You don't look anything like that. Yeah, it. that's what they right. called me as soon as I walked out in the yard. I Grizzly even, Adams. I don't even understand why. Yeah, they I don't assaulted understand. you? How in the world? Who's assaulting you? Every time I mentioned something about Howard Stern, this guy would come up and karate chop me right in the throat with it. Really? And he gave me an escorted ride right out of out of Waterbury and put me into a motel room. But Bigfoot, why wow. a mental institution if you have a, a medical problem? I mean, you're, you're sneezing and barfing. Why? Why? Uh, why would you have to be in a mental institution? For they, that? They, they, they just want to control my money and me not have no say. Who's they? Mental health. The mental yeah. health what agent. money? I thought you didn't. I think because you, you do you have a lot of money. I get a SSI check and I get a Social Security check. Right. And they are after my Social Security check. It is the, them to control my money. It seems me, like such a small amount of money. Uh, yeah. Uh, and and, and, you know. and, and he finally said uh, me not to have no say about what they do to me. Now someone told me you're in a business, and I guess it's a side business. You sell cigarettes. Is that right, correct? I do. Yes. I was doing the math, and forget. Forgive me for not understanding this. You could probably better explain it. You sell a cigarette to people for, let's see the price. Six cents. Six, no, no. Okay, here it is. Fifty cents. No, it says six cents a cigarette. No, not six cents a cigarette. Fifty cents a cigarette. 50 or, I would get my cigarettes from him. Or 35 cents a cigarette, depending on How the much? person. How much? 50 cents or 5 cents? No, 35 cents. All right, 35 Why cents. Why do you look at one person and say 50 cents and another person and say... Because it depends on who they are is and how much I hate them and stuff ah, like that. Okay. If I like the person, it is, I'll give them a break it and sell them for 35 cents. I right. see. Now, if I don't like the guy so well, I'll charge 50 cents or even a dollar for two cigarettes. Okay. So you size the person up. Up and yeah, you can tell. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Okay. So uh, I was going to say because someone said you were selling them for six cents a smoke. I said you got to no. be losing a fortune. I was going to no. say buy your cigarettes right. from Bigfoot. <laughs> no, right. no. Do you ever feel guilty for selling cigarettes in the sense that it does affect people's health and maybe it's not a? No, I'm you're not in, worried about that. You don't feel it? you're in the death business? No. 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 Do you smoke? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. yeah. I got to tell you, he's a great salesman because he reeks of cigarettes. <laughs> Howard right. reeks. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? 
I smoke about a half pack, sometimes a pack. It is pending if I'm drinking. And once in a while, I'll pick up occasional beer and have a little beer with my cigarettes. Because it's a lot of money to spend. I understand a pack of cigarettes now is like $10. Yeah, down here it's $12. It is. That's crazy. I know. And how $12, much? $12, $12, that's for one pack of cigarettes. And you're on SSI. I mean, right. you don't have a and lot I of money. i show you what I got for 12 bucks. It is. Let me right see. here. Oh, there it is. Right. Pack of camels. Yeah. Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks. That's for one pack of bu- bucks down here. Wow. wow. Well, there it is. Uh, you've had an update. Uh, Bigfoot still smokes weed when he can get it, as you know. Exactly. He is in the middle of producing a film about his life. Is right. that correct? Right. Who's doing that? It's that, that other guy who brought me down here. I, I can't remember his name. You probably... Will you star in the film or someone will portray Bigfoot? Will you be the star? Or? Yeah, I'm being the star. Is he's the one doing all the court? I see. It's not a. Uh, doc- it's a documentary. In other yeah. Words. Okay. All right. I want to make sure to say something about Parker Pyatt. Is I'm molten. Uh, Parker Pyatt is. I see. I uh, mean, I don't see, but I'm just saying that. Yeah. Um, because someone had said at some point they were looking at Chris Kattan to play you. Right. In the movie. And now now you are taking over the lead role. Right. Okay, got it. Okay. I thought Chris Kattan was an excellent touch. Uh, what are they doing with Bigfoot? Where have you right. been with this documentary? What are you uh, we've doing? We've been all over Brooklyn, it is. We were here doing stuff in New York, it is. Holding my teeth like that, like the lost look, it is. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And everybody was cracking up laughing, uh, okay. it is. Right. <laughs> Getting any pussy? No. Not no. lately. No kidding. It's, oh, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of brightened up because nobody wants to have no sex with me right now. It's, Even with the new suit? Even with the new suit. Yeah, because you look good. Yeah. Yeah, well, anyway, uh, Bigfoot, it's exciting, the film. I don't understand. what Bigfoot's going to hold his face during the film? Like in Home uh, Alone. Home, Home Alone. Alone. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That sounds good. <coughs> now, what's that? That's a part of your problem? That's just a cough. It that's is just a cough. Some, yeah. Okay. Well, I'm sorry your neighbors are still harassing you. I yep. don't think this teenager was right in macing your face. Yeah. I mean, that's He did it twice. He did it to my right eye and he did it to my left eye. Why'd you go back? <laughs> no, no, I opened the door and they're macing me as soon as I opened my own door. You know, you're, a, my... very, you're a very big, powerful man who could probably rip a man apart with his uh, bare yes, hand. I could. I could hurt somebody and not even hardly, hardly do anything to him. I know. I don't know my own strengths. I don't. This teenager, <laughs> this teenager must be insane he's to crazy. mace you. Yes. I mean, he's crazy. How do you maintain your demeanor and not Go after I him. try to take me. I take steps. Is I I count to ten usually when I get really mad. Is and that helps me calm down. That must take a long just, time. Yeah. How long yeah. does it take you to count to ten? <laughs> oh, it takes a yeah. little while. Yeah. And I just try to bear with it. Well, I'm I'm proud of you that someone could mace you. And and you would not take off and kill them. I mean, I think that shows... Yeah, I mean, that shows great restraint. It really yeah. does. Do you call the police and ask them to uh, step yes, in? Yes, I, I probably get them to do something it is, and every time I file a police report, it is, I think they throw it in the garbage it is, and do nothing. They did nothing to this kid. They didn't yeah, bring nothing. him down. Nothing. Nothing. Like, it's okay, go ahead oh, and mace, yeah, the, yeah, mace right. the monster. Right. Are you at the police uh, department every day? No. Not every day. Once no. a week? Once a month, sometimes once once a year, it's uh, it's 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 odd. I can't even bar- barely go outside the house without somebody picking on me. Is this is this kid macing you to keep you in the house? Yeah, yeah. He doesn't want he, you stepping out. He don't want me stepping outside. It is you know, I can't even safe to go out and smoke a cigarette, and I start making a like a loud roaring noise. It's so a- he feels he's protecting the neighborhood by macing you and keeping you in the house. Right, right. <laughs> like, like I'm a prisoner. Right. It's crazy. Yeah, it Wouldn't you be better off in the mental hospital? It's <laughs> no, I don't know. To me, it sounds, it sounds like the neighbors are prisoners. Yeah. I'm serious. What? It's I'm, crazy. I know. I'm not even safe in a mental institution. <laughs> You're it's like, like a, I got to be put in a rubber room and, and, and leave that guy alone. You're like a victim. I yeah. know. Uh, you're, I mean, I don't like to hear that. Yeah, that's what I am, is a victim. Yeah. Everybody else is troubles. Everybody? Somebody else got problems, they bring their problems right to me. Right. You know, how can we solve this problem, Mark? Is this, oh. is this kid in college? How old a kid is he? He was like maybe not even 16 years old. 16-year-old is, is macing you yeah. and keeping you in the house. He's, right. like a, he's like the representative for the neighborhood. I'll keep the guy in the house. Oh, well, yeah. Yeah, it's his That's job. He might as well have a chain fucking ball to hook to my ankle. Wow. Seriously. Wow. That's sad. Yeah, it is. Do you think you're doing anything in the neighborhood that is provoking these people to make this 16-year-old in charge of macing you? 
I have no idea. The only thing I do is barf and hiccup it is and stuff like that it is and sneeze occasionally. I even sneeze when I came in here. Yeah. Howard, he said, he said the key words. If he were doing something, he would have no idea. Right, right. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I mean, any hour you leave your house, he's there. I mean, this kid's right. watching you. Yeah. Well, when does he, he go lives, to school? It's, it's, it's like he's stalking me. He got their own little gang, it is, and he got a bunch of other people involved. It is. He got, like, the whole neighborhood involved in the hate crime against me. Oh, and, you know, geez. it's like Robin even says, the kid's got to go to school at some point. Then you could leave the house. Yeah, exactly. You got to wait for him to go to school. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't Microphone keeps sliding off my right. ear. Yeah. Well, that's the least of your problems. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so so when the kid goes to school, you know it's safe to leave the house. Exactly. And I don't yeah. even dare leave very far. I went as far as the mailbox one, one day is, and I got to double lock my door, and I found somebody pried their way into my apartment and just stole, like, cigarette tobacco and stole one of my little pipes there is well. and stuff like that in it. Well, I'm uh, sorry. It's not to even hear safe that. to leave my own house. Well, it's clear why you won the Whack Pack uh, contest a few yeah. years ago, and here yeah. we are today celebrating a new Whack Packer contest. Right. right. And I'm excited for you. I'm excited for the Whack Pack. I'm excited for us, and I'm excited to ha- have you here as a judge. Yeah. There'll be no macing of Bigfoot today. That's right. for sure. Today exactly. you are a hero. Mm, that's yes. Right. right. You know, quite frankly, I feel safe here. I do. I hope so. Nobody yeah. picks on you here. No, nobody picks on me here. Everybody uh, treats me very nice. I can't imagine. Imagine that you're even susceptible to mace. I would think it wouldn't even have an effect on you. No, it had an effect on me. I had to wash my eyes out with soap and water. And Does it sting? I mean, oh, it yeah, it stings yeah. something wicked. Yeah. I thought it was ether, is that person? Is, no, that, 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 that's mace. It's mace. Well, he right tells you kid. it's mace. He tells you it's mace. He says, it's mace. Yeah. Hey, you say to him, what did you do to me? And the kid goes, mace. Yeah. Like he's angry. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know where he got the stuff from. He's only a 16-year-old kid. <laughs> I guess from his parents. And probably. Yeah. Well, uh, well, Robin, it's a fascinating... It uh, is. The uh, state of Vermont is on the phone. Would you speak with them? Sure. All right. This is the hello, state of Vermont. Hello. Fuck you! <laughs> That's the state? <laughs> fuck you, you white asshole. Go fuck yourself. Well, go fuck yourself, too. Yeah, go take another hairbrush in your ass. I, I don't use hairbrushes in my ass. Human piece of shit that you are. Well, that's not right. You're right. The state of Vermont has something against you. Yeah, I know. All right. Automatically got a ticket, and he gave me a ticket <laughs> for wearing a seatbelt. What? And you weren't even driving, and you? No, got a I weren't even driving. <laughs> Seriously. But how do you this draw? This could only happen to how you. How do you draw such trouble? Honestly, I mean, like, like the cops know. never look at my car for seatbelts. I mean, I do, don't know. Do they pull you over? <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I ask is you a the question? car a weird car? What is it? It's like the Munsters car. car. It's a black car. Yeah, but is it an old car? Yeah, it's an older car. Yeah. Like, does it look like maybe like a migrant farm worker is in the car? No, no, no. Is no. it the same color all the way around? Or yes, is it, it oh, is. Okay. Mm. I don't know. Does your the, uh, the, 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 the place any bigger? We looking for trouble, and, and we're not. Does your head stick out of the car? <laughs> uh, it's kind of. Uh, I have to push the seat way back. It is, and the declining motion it is that's for me to fit into yeah, it. Yeah, but I, I just can't imagine why the cops somehow are drawn to your car. It's He's weird. always being. I stopped. know because it has the mop. Plates. Do you think you're cursed like you attract trouble? Do you think? Uh, yeah, I, I do believe that, yes. Yes. Because, I mean, I've never seen a guy. I mean, it, it, Gary, it, it, when's it, the last like time? It's like in Newport. I was sitting out there and I got maced in my eyes it's just because I wouldn't give somebody a cigarette. All right. What happened? I got maced in my eyes it is Who maced because I you? wouldn't give some teenager a cigarette. A teenager uh, asked you for a you? cigarette. Right. And he and you said, no, I'm, I don't have a cigarette for you. Right. And he took out a can of mace and sprayed you. Right, exactly. Are you like, a regular citizen. Are you like Frankenstein's monster? Like, do you walk through your town and people just throw garbage at you? Yeah, and, basically, yeah. yeah. It's like being Frankenstein's monster. Would you say you're, yeah. no, you're known in your town? Everybody knows you? Yeah, everybody knows me wherever I go. That's true. Yeah. It don't matter if I go to New York. It don't matter if I go to the Bronx. It don't matter if I go to Maine. And you get in trouble. Everybody knows me. And you get in trouble, and people mace you. I mean, to be maced is a terribly painful thing, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It hurt in my eyeballs. Yeah. You know what? I'm ready to vote. He's the next whack <laughs> No, Robin, you can't I'm vote. I'm already the whack pack. There he is. Hey, by- How can I be the whack pack of white? Hey, by the way, you did something so terrific. What did I do? Remember you, uh, Little Lupe called you and you had phone oh, sex? Oh, yeah. Yes. I remember that. And I made her sick. I that's did. That's right. Did you ever oh, hear I'm it? I'm sorry. I've seen it. I know. That's true. But that's now, what he was thinking when he bought it. 
I see. <laughs> but why I was wearing... dressing up for you, Howard. And is that an ascot you have on? No. 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 Is it like a, there's like a... Sh- okay. It's there's a shirt, a vest, and a shirt. Yeah. Does it, does oh, no, no. I got it. I got it. Howard, this outside thing? Yeah. That's the, the, that's the jacket. Well, you took right. that. What jacket? I thought no, I was this piece right here, that. I thought this was a shirt. That's a suit jacket. Right, so it's a suit jacket. But so what's the thing underneath? A vest and then the shirt. Oh, I see. It's like a three-piece suit. <laughs> and know. why are you wearing a leather coat on top of it all? Well, that's in case it rains. Oh. <laughs> I see. All you right. don't want to mess it up. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, by the way, just before we... You know why you're here today, right? Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm being a judge for a new whack packer. Yeah, we want to find a new whack packer. You know, we found you right? for this very contest. Right. It was, I don't know how long ago. How many years ago did we find you? Do you remember? I about maybe three years ago. Three years or so. Yeah. yeah. And when we found you, it was such a great day. Remember, and you won, and it yeah, was exciting, and you got like five grand. It was yeah, a, I know. Yeah, yeah. You were immediately welcomed into the whack pack. Yeah, I know I was. Bigfoot, as a whack packer, and probably your vote's the most important. What makes a great whack packer? What are you looking for? I'm looking at them and see how funny they are. Right. To see if they're entertaining. Funny is good. Yeah. To see right. if he's entertaining somebody like me at this. Right. Okay. You're not part of the place me are. No. no. Who could ever I'm, replace you? I'm trying to uh, add to your numbers. Oh. You know, so I think it'll be great, and I think you should have a say in picking that person because you are the reigning whack pack leader. Yeah, all right. All right. Now, uh, also, I do, I, I mean, I don't mean to bring up uh, hardships, but you just got, you came to New York, and immediately you got in trouble with the law. You got a $125 ticket. Right, and I was wearing my seatbelt. And you, it was for not. I were I weren't wearing it properly. I didn't have the shoulder holster up by my shoulder. I didn't. Oh well, the police came over and looked in the car and said you don't have the shoulder harness on properly. Well, yeah. Gee, that's. Well, that's, why weren't you wearing it right? Because I thought uh, we wouldn't be bothered. It is. I told the other guy <laughs> I'll put his seatbelt on and he wouldn't listen to me. It is. And he. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You want me to jack off? Yes. Yeah. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm going to fuck you like a wild lamb when I want this. Oh. Uh, I'll fuck mm. you in the ass. I'll fuck you in the pussy. Uh, yeah, I'll lick your vagina. Mm. You like being licked? Yes. I'm going to lick your cunt. Uh, I even lick your asshole, I will. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. 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 Oh. Hey. About me? Yes. You using your middle finger? Yes. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Some, some yeah. hot session, huh? Yeah, it was. I like how you talk to these girls. Pussy, cunt, you, 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 and I'm going to lick your asshole. Can I ask a question? And look how hot you got her, you know what I mean? Have you ever actually shit on anybody? No. Okay, oh, I'm just checking. But, I wondered why that came out of right. you. I mean, <laughs> that was very uh, I was just using whatever I could to <laughs> make her happy. Right. Okay. Well, you made her happy. You could hear she came very hard. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Hey, uh, Bigfoot, I'm worried about something here, and, you know, tell me the truth. Is there now, could this actually be your last appearance on the show, that there's an effort now to get you um, into a courtroom so that the state can institutionalize you and throw yeah, you away? Yeah, I talked with, um, what, what was it, uh, Kurt Palmer there is. Who's that? He's one of my head caseworkers, is, and he's not going to try to get me in the hospital. Is. They want this or nothing about that. I didn't mean to make you think. I was faking the whole thing, you know. <laughs> Bigfoot, did oh, okay. you ever hear the tape of you uh, making love to little Lupe? Have you ever heard it? I don't think so. I'll play it for you right now if you'd like. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, hey, d- guys, do you have that so I can play it for Bigfoot? I don't think he's ever heard the playback. Well, I thought it, you should hear your own performance. I thought it was tremendously sexy. Yeah. And you swear you were just acting. Yeah, I was just acting. All right. Do you ever? Did, did you ever have phone sex before this? 
I've had phone sex with plenty of girls before. Yeah. With Melanie and this girl. Like, and that girl. Yeah. I, <laughs> I've had more girls than I, I can count on one, both hands. <laughs> I have to start with my toes and everything, too. Yeah, Bigfoot. Hola, baby. ¿Cómo estás? Do what? <laughs> Hi, baby. How are you? Who the hell is this? I am Luba Fuentes. Let me turn my TV down. I can barely hear you. Okay. Oh. What the fuck is this, you know? Do what? You have a big penis? Peanut? I love peanuts. No, I don't have no peanuts. Peanuts is my favorite. Huh? What? Huh? You like big boobs? Yeah, I like big boobs. You have a big penis? Yeah, I got a big penis. Wow. Well, you like big penises? Woo! I love cock. You like the head? Yeah, you want I show you? Show me what? You want to show me your pussy? Yes. That's nice of you. I love pussy. You do? You don't even know what it look like. I love penis. Oh, you like big cock? You have a big penis? Yeah, nine and a half inches. Woo! I love cock. Good what? Oh, I have so many orgasms. Somebody in the bathroom? Yes. Well, you gotta go to the bathroom, you do. Yes. Oh. Oh, this guy is dirty. Yeah, you want me to come and take a shit on you? Yes. Yeah? You like being shit on? Yes. I love anal. You like anal? Well, I'll fuck your ass, I will. <laughs> well, you want me to take my cock out and jack off? Problems, you know. He's been having a tough time. Hey, Bigfoot. Hey, good to see you, pal. What is he wearing? He looks good. Very stylish. Very stylish today. He's wearing pink pants, like pajamas with a leather jacket. Are those pajamas? No, those not in German. What? It's a suit. That's a suit? Yeah. Where'd not, you find it? Those not a jammas? No. Oh, that looks like pajamas to I me. I thought they were pajamas when he was. Now you did something different to you. It is. It looks like you cut your hair, Howard. No, 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 no. Same length. Oh. Yeah. You look like you grew your hair longer. Yeah, I, I have. Yeah. I think it looks like he has done nothing with his hair. No, his hair actually looks... He's got sort of a look going. You yeah. think? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. With the beard and everything? Wasn't that the same look he always had? <laughs> no, his hair's longer and his beard's longer. You do look more handsome. I'm going to give you that. Oh, that's good. You look yeah. happy, actually. Is they, I am happy at this. I'm good. happy to be here and seeing how it works. How'd All you right. get... You look like Brad Pitt, honestly. I mean, you know, he's gone for this long beard, gray that beard look. That is the, yeah. the Brad Pitt beard. That is the Brad Brad Pitt beard, you're, you're in style. <laughs> yeah. Where do you get the money for a, a, a fancy suit like this? It's all peach and stripes. Well, that and girl right? bought it for me. That Shannon girl did. Who's Shannon? The one that is. Uh, I, I invited down here is to see you. Oh, her. Yeah, oh. she bought it for me. Very do nice. Do you know who he's talking about? No. He had a girl with him last time he was here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I just go along with the program. Yeah. Oh, so she paid for that. That must have been expensive. What yeah, that... it was only like 50 bucks. Uh, that suit's 50 bucks? I have yeah. a, how Where it just, do you buy your suits? From looking at it, it looks like it come from a thrift shop. <laughs> no, I'm serious. It didn't. It come from a regular suit place where he makes suits. Yeah. Right off the rack for 50 yeah. bucks? Yeah. So you and he like... even tailored it. And it bet me and everything. So you had a choice of many different suits, and that's the one you chose. Kenny Sawyer picked out this suit for me. Because I gotta tell you something, it's not a practical suit. I don't know suit. that pink is your color. Yeah, I mean, if you, or it's salmon. It's kind of an orangish color. It's yeah, a salmon. Yeah, it's a salmon. Maybe. But you want to know something? It well, would have been more practical if you got a plain black suit, because you could wear it everywhere. That suit, you wear it once, and Everybody's like, seen it. Everyone's yeah. seen it. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're gonna remember right. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ban Mr. Bloodclot, but never you can't ban him. I'm just not going to read it. Oh. Now you can ban Mr. Bloodclot. If I see more trolling, it's going to go up to five years.